Good evening. Will you please rise and join us in singing as we begin this celebration? Amen. The Lord be with you. Esta mañana tuve un primo que me dijo, hoy es mi fiesta, hoy es día de todos los santos. Esa es la meta, que lleguemos a ser santo. A cousin of mine was saying this morning, today is my feast day. Feast of all the saints, he was saying. And I said, well, that's the goal. I'm not sure you're a saint yet, but that's the goal, that's the goal. Que todos seamos santos. May all of us be holy as the Father is holy. Let us pause to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you give the poor in spirit the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you comfort those who mourn. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise your people to new life. Lord, have mercy. Dios Todopoderoso, tenga misericordia de nosotros, perdone nuestros pecados y nos lleve a la vida eterna. Amén.
oremos. Almighty ever living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever. And ever. A reading from the book of Revelations. I, John, saw another angel coming up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked, from every tribe of the children of Israel. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are ones who have survived the time of great stress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord.
Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Juan. Queridos hijos, miren cuánto amor nos ha tenido el Padre, pues no solo nos llamamos hijos de Dios, sino que lo somos. Si el mundo no nos reconoce, es porque tampoco lo han reconocido a Él. Hermanos míos, ahora somos hijos de Dios, pero aún no se ha manifestado cómo seremos al fin. Y ya sabemos que cuando Él se manifieste, vamos a ser semejantes a Él, porque lo veremos tal cual es. Todo el que tenga puesta en Dios esta esperanza, se purifica a sí mismo para ser tan puro como Él. Palabra de Dios. Te lo vamos, Señor. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to, to you, o Lord. When he saw the crowd, he went to the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him, and he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. And blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. En aquel tiempo, cuando Jesús vio la muchedumbre, subió al monte y se sentó. Entonces, se le acercaron sus discípulos. Enseguida comenzó a enseñarles y les dijo, Dichosos, pobre de espíritu, porque ellos es el reino de los cielos. Dichosos, los que lo lloran, porque serán consolados. Dichosos los fridos, porque heredarán la, la tierra. Dichosos los que tienen hambre y sed de justicia, porque serán saciados. Dichosos los misericordios, porque tendrán misericordia. Dichosos los lentidos de corazón, porque verán Dios. Dichosos los que trabajan por la paz, porque se llamará hijos de Dios. Dichosos los perseguidos por la causa de la justicia, porque ellos es el reino de los cielos. Dichosos serán 
ustres quando los incurian, los persigan y digan cosas falsas de ustedes por causa mía. Alegrense y salten de contento, porque su premio, premio será grande en los cielos. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Somos santos. Are we holy? Somos felices. Are we happy? Cuando nos preguntas si somos felices, no sabemos contestar. ¿Qué de verdad es ser feliz? ¿En qué consiste? ¿Cómo lograrlo? When you ask about someone, are you happy? What is happiness? What does it consist of? Can we achieve it? What is the pathway? Nosotros en nuestra vida tenemos nuestras propias bienaventuranzas. Dichosos los que tienen una buena cuenta de banco. Dichosos los que pueden comprar el carro del último modelo. Los que triunfan. Dichosos los que son aplaudidos. Los que disfrutan de la vida sin escrúpulos. Los que se desentienden de los problemas. Many times we have our own beatitudes, and they go like this. Blessed are those who have good bank accounts, those who can afford the latest car model. Blessed are those who always succeed, no matter the cost. Those who enjoy life without scruples. Jesús ha puesto nuestra felicidad para arriba. Lo que nosotros entendemos, Él le da la vuelta para que lo miremos de otra manera, en dirección contraria. Maybe Jesus has turned what we believe is happiness upside down. You know, He's turning upside down our understanding of happiness, showing us that we're going on the opposite direction. Es que hay otro camino para ser feliz. Que a nosotros nos parece un camino falso, increíble. La verdadera felicidad es algo que uno se le encuentra de paso. Y se le encuentra como el fruto de un seguimiento sencillo y fiel a Jesús. What is the truth path to happiness? Well, there is a true path to happiness which seems impossible and incredible. The true happiness is something that we can find along the way as we journey with a simple and faithful following of Jesus. As we journey with a simple and faithful following of Jesus. En que creemos en la bienaventuranza de Jesús o lo que la sociedad nos dice que felicidad. So what should I believe? In the beatitudes that Jesus presents to us? Or what society tells me is happiness? Siempre tenemos dos caminos para elegir. Tratar de asegurar nuestra pequeña felicidad 
y sufrir lo menos posible sin amar, sin tener piedad de nadie, sin compartir, o el camino del amor. Amar, buscar la justicia, estar cerca del que sufre, aceptar el sufrimiento que sea necesario, creyendo en una felicidad más grandiosa y más profunda. And then we encounter the two paths, and we need to choose of these two paths to ensure my little happiness, suffer as little as possible without loving, without caring for anybody, without sharing, or the path of love, amor, to love to seek justice, to be close to those who suffer, and embrace suffering too, that trial that is necessary in our journey, believing that there is a greater and deeper happiness. There is a greater and deeper happiness. Uno se va haciendo creyente cuando va descubriendo que el hombre es más feliz cuando ama. Incluso cuando sufrimos, uno es más feliz cuando ama que cuando no ama. Y por lo tanto no sufre por ello. I think we become a believer when we discover that we are happier when we love. When we love, even when we suffer, we are happier than when, than, than when we don't love. Es una equivocación versal que el cristiano está llamado a vivir fastidiado. No, no estamos llamados a vivir fastidiado ni fastidiándonos más que los demás, ni ser más infelices que los demás. No, ser cristiano es por el contrario buscar la verdadera felicidad por el camino de Jesús. Y esa es una felicidad que comienza aquí, pero no termina aquí. Alcanza su felicidad y su plenitud cuando nos encontremos finalmente con Dios. It is a mistake to think that Christians are called to be annoyed in this journey, annoying by pain and suffering, that we must be unhappy. No, no. To be a Christian, on the contrary, is to seek that true happiness along the path of Jesus. That true beautiful happiness that begins here, but it doesn't end here. That true happiness that reaches its fullness in the final encounter with our God. You want to be a saint? Quieres ser santo? Give it a try. Give it a try. Te invito a que trates. Que Dios los bendiga. May God bless you. Amen. Profesamos nuestra fe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, For him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation.
He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified on the bunch of spotlight. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gather as God's church in this generation. Let us bring a prayer to God for our needs and the needs of the whole world. For a humble and merciful church that continues to preach the good news of Jesus with the saints, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Por quienes trabajan para traer libertad y reconciliación al mundo, con los santos, oremos. Escúchanos, Señor. For this community, made holy in Christ, that we all strive to be saints, with the saints, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. Por los candidatos electorales, para que todos se comprometan a servir con amor y compasión. Con los santos, oremos. Escúchanos, Señor. That all who suffer the violence of war will be blessed with lasting peace. With the saints, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Por los oprimidos por la pobreza o la falta de vivienda, para que Dios sea su sustento y fortaleza. Con los santos oremos. Escúchanos, Señor. For the sick, especially Father Fernando and Nick and Dave, may the gift of having Christ in their lives calm them and give them strength to heal. With the saints we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Por los que han muerto solos y olvidados, con los santos oremos. Escúchanos, Señor. For the special intention of Regina Cook, for whom this Mass is offered, with the saints we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention you hold in the silence of your hearts and those you have shared with your brothers and sisters. God of all time, you bless us in your mercy. Hear and grant our prayers according to your will. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amen. You may be seated. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mary and Joseph, my God, your angel. Pray a prono mis. Pray a prono mis. Pray a prono mis. Pray a prono mis. 
Sisters and brothers, on my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Que te sean gratos, Señor, los dones que te ofrecemos en honor de todos tus santos. Y concédenos experimentar la ayuda para obtener nuestra salvación de aquellos que ya alcanzaron con certeza la felicidad eterna. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. El Señor esté con ustedes. Levantemos el corazón. Demos gracias al Señor nuestro Dios. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith Rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church to whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with a multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. For most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, John, our Bishop, the auxiliary bishops, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Acuérdate, Señor, de tus hijos y de todos los aquí reunidos, 
cuya fe y entrega tú bien conoces. Por ellos y todos los suyos, por el perdón de sus pecados y la salvación que esperan, te ofrecemos y ellos mismos te ofrecen este sacrificio de alabanza a ti, eterno Dios, vivo y verdadero. In communion with all those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and by St. Joseph her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cleus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through the merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Acepta, Señor, en tu bondad esta ofrenda de tus siervos y de toda tu familia santa. Ordena en tu paz nuestros días. Líbranos de la condenación eterna y cuéntanos entre tus elegidos. Bendice y santifica esta ofrenda, Padre, haciéndola perfecta, espiritual y digna de ti, que se convierta para nosotros el cuerpo y la sangre de tu Hijo amado, Jesucristo nuestro Señor. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Señor mío, y Dios mío, tú eres mi Dios y eres mi Señor. Del mismo modo, acabada la cena, tomó este cáliz glorioso en sus santas y venerables manos, dando gracias te bendijo y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre. Sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía, Señor mío, mi Dios mío. Tú eres mi Dios y eres mi Señor. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Mira con ojos bondad esta ofrenda y acéptala como aceptaste los dones del justo Abel, el sacrificio de Abraham nuestro padre en la fe y la ovación pura de tu sumo sacerdote Melquisedec. Te pedimos humildemente Dios Todopoderoso que esta ofrenda sea llevada a tu presencia hasta el altar del cielo por manos de tu ángel para que cuanto recibimos el cuerpo y la sangre de tu Hijo, al participar aquí de este altar, seamos colmados de gracia y de bendición. Remember also, Lord, your servants, 
who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Remember Regina Cook, for whom we offer this Eucharist. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Y a nosotros, pecadores, siervos tuyos, confiamos en tu infinita misericordia. Admítenos en la asamblea de los santos apóstoles y mártires, Juan el Bautista, Esteban, Matías y Bernabé, Ignacio, Alejandro, Marcelino y Pedro, Felicidad y Perpetua, Águeda, Lucía, Inés, Cecilia, Anastasia y de todos los santos. Y acéptanos en su compañía, no por nuestros méritos, sino conforme a tu bondad. Por Cristo Señor nuestro, por quien sigues creando todos los bienes, los santificas, los llenas de vida, los bendices y los repartes entre nosotros. Por Cristo con él y en él, a ti Dios Padre Omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos. Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea, venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo, danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día, perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden, no nos dejes caer en tentación, líbranos de Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concédele la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. The peace of the Lord be with you always. For telemente la paz, let us share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. Este es Jesús, nuestra felicidad y nuestra santidad. Behold Jesus, our holiness and our happiness. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Señor, no soy digno que entres en mi casa, pero una palabra tuya bastará para sanar. El cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo nos guarde para la vida eterna.
Oremos. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that come to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracias por su paciencia en una misa bilingüe no es fácil. Se me quema el circuito y me falta una cerveza ahorita. So after a bilingual mass, which I can tell is not easy for you, imagine for me, I need a beer now, yeah. <laughs> El Señor esté con ustedes. Y la bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo, descienda sobre ustedes y los acompañe siempre. Amen. Our mass is ended. Go in peace. Glorifying God by your lives. Thanks be to God.